Telecommunications Corporation. Today is December 15, 2022. The time is 1.47 p.m. Um, please state your name. Sorry? I'm sorry. 12.47 p.m. I stand corrected. Please state your name as uh, and your position as we go around the table. Donovan Brooks, Chair. Rosemary Clement, member. Lorraine Hernandez, Administrative Officer. Ina Carrillo, GM. Joey Frankish, member. Mariflor Herrero, Treasurer. Judy Flores, Secretary. Thank you. <coughs> so you have in front of you the minutes of October 20. had a chance to review them already, so. Let's have a few minutes. I'd just like to clarify on page five, uh, second paragraph, uh, in regard to uh, organizations assist in navigating resources or providing direct funding. Funding those would be um, cancer uh, uh, organizations that are uh, primarily funding or assisting with uh, cancer care or um, uh, assisting in finding the resources to uh, find. Where are you, Donovan? Page five, paragraph two. Oh, where says the board chair? So it, it has to do with, you know, what I said was while I was traveling, I, I oh. was, uh, I was, uh, came in contact with organizations that assisted uh, cancer patients yeah. uh, in getting off island, finding resources. That assisted cancer patients. Right. I see. I think that the government uh, has a, um, a program like this with with people in, in Guam and in the states that when you are off island. Yes, that was one of the organizations. Uh, what What is the name? I know that it's sponsored by yeah, the government. Yeah, it used to be an animal. Well, mean, well, the governor's <laughs> office has has like a an arm that assists in transportation. Yeah. Uh, and and it helps with, with all the anyway, logistics. Anyway, we're, we're, we're just trying to get through the. Uh, uh, okay. minutes uh, at this point so let's, let's please uh, just uh, I wanted to make that clarification and are there any other clarifications and if not could I please have a motion to approve the minutes I make a move that we approve the minutes for October 20th 2022 I'll second all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so next. Mrs. Carrillo. Yes, okay, so my report for the month or for the last couple months, um, um, basically we've been busy with um, 
doing a lot of um, fundraising. So, uh, well, regarding administration, our annual audit has started, and Ernst & Young is now in the process of doing field work here at the office. So that basically means they've been here in person, uh, requesting for documents from accounting, um, and they're doing that in person right now, and they, they started um, last week. So, um, renovations, um, I wanted to present the renovation plan from EMSCO. Um, and it's uh, engineering consultants together with DPW. Um, they made a presentation here at the office. There is a mock-up of the prelim preliminary design that was presented. Um, and basically, that was to get our additional feedback. Um, once that's done, they will be presenting um, a, at least a 60% completed um, design, and that will be submitted by January 17th, and then after that, um, they will give us our finalized design by April 2nd um, of next year, 2023. Um, for construction, uh, the schedule is as follows. From April 2nd to July 2nd, um, DPW will issue the bid for solicitation. Uh, on July uh, 2nd, 2023, DPW and um, PBS together, we expect to award the, uh, the contract for construction. And then um, provided that, you know, we did receive bids and we were able to award the contract, um, uh, construction will take place shortly after. And uh, based on, on, on what our plans are, they don't think it would take more than uh, 365 days to do. Um, this also includes things like building a whole new garage and stuff like that. So if you look at the plans, um, what this is a so this was a, what was presented to us in November. Um, the second page gives you total square footage of our complete footprint. Um, this is um, what they're planning to do is build a carport for the OB van because the current garage we're going to use as like a mezzanine office space, like a two-story office space. Uh, we're going to also have a, a build a generator room outside of um, the engineering department. Um, we're adding an extra bathroom, so we will have be more, because uh, we really need another woman's bathroom. We have just one. Um, there will be additional lounge area for us to eat lunch and air, uh, expanded offices. So the third page, this is actually our layout um, that is going to be filed with uh, land management. Um, if you look at the dotted line across here, this was just all of our main footprint. So if you go to land management, we don't have a map because all the extensions were never documented. So they've um, done the layout for us, and so now um, if you go to DP, well, not yet, but once this is completed, we'll have a clean map at land management. Are we, where are we? So, this was just a second page. This is our existing second layout. second page. Yeah. A third page. Oh, sorry, how we did the first? Yeah. So this next page, this is our layout of what this is projected um, to be, this is what was in the original plan. So if you look at this, um, there were some changes because, you know, this was, we had done a walkthrough and they took notes, but there are some changes. So you'll notice that if you walk in here, this area used to be the garage. It's now a two-story office. Over here, um, what is sa this? satellite is right here. But what this is this is new office? What is yeah. this new office? Yes, yes, that's our garage. Okay. Uh, right now, current garage. And so you'll see to the left of it, on the outside of the admin office, there's going to be a new carport for the OB van. Um, and then the, the satellite is right behind it. So we're building that out. We're building an additional space here. We're revamping all of admin. You can see if you walk into the porch and there's admin, there's going to be a real lobby there with our admin. Um, actually, it's not, it's, not, um, it's not labeled correctly, but this will be admin reception, and then we'll have uh, accounting, and finance will actually be Lorraine's office. So that whole area will be just admin. Then we go back, and I'll probably be back here somewhere, but this will be all of production. 
development, programming, and then more production work. So the new layout is just way more feasible and it's just a better workflow. We're keeping production people together, we're keeping the admin and the sales people together and giving them proper and adequate space. Because uh, you've seen that. Well, what about this big one that says new office over here? That's going to be development. That's the garage, the current garage. This one here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so that's yeah. not the new one. Oh, this one here by the studio. This is actually going to, this is GW. So this, this space here, this is the, uh, we have an MOU with GW to acquire this whole space. But um, there was a fire at GW. And so the principal, uh, my MOU is with the superintendent. But the principal um, explained to us that they need to use three of the four rooms that, that they had originally planned to give us. Because... They're, they had a fire, and the rooms are. But is that temporary? I mean, they have. It's to a temporary fix, thing, for, but room, it's going right? to be a couple couple years or something. What is oh. is that the NIC you're talking yes. about? And yes. What, what does NIC mean? I don't Russ. know. <laughs> but the space next to that that says new office, that's not going to be the new office. That is, that, but it's not going to be an office. It's actually going to be extended studio. So that's going to be the bonus set. It's going to be our oh. second studio. So this will be our first studio. That office is actually right here. That'll be our second studio. And then there's another office right off of it. And that will either be storage or sound and pro, uh, uh, production, more production. So the studio is the same, this, yeah. this one. It's going to be, it's this, yes. this we're not touching. We're just adding on to it. Okay. Because this studio seems big, but when we're doing multiple productions, we just don't have room. I mean, if you can imagine, we're shooting Buenos every day. We're about to start to shoot uh, Academic Challenge Bowl again. It's uh, coming on Mesh tomorrow. We just don't even have room for another set, you know, like once the cameras are all set up. So, so the Buenos um, studio is here, right? Right there yeah, right in the here. corner. Yeah. So we're going, to, um, we're going to use that new studio space to put uh, news. Yeah. Oh, the news in, in the new one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have a little bit of office space there um, to get. We haven't been in that room. I just know that it's a 10 by 10. They don't have the key. And so we really just have to break down the door. So uh, we're just right now planning to make it storage slash put the sound booth in there and do some audio production in there. So but, can I ask you, mm -hmm. in, in the beginning, in, in, in the first page, you know, this, this thing that says NIC again, is, is that available or no? What are you looking at there? For? The very first page. That was all of GW, so that's not in our plan right now. This is just our current layout now. This page, so the first one. Right. So this one is not. No, we don't have it. That's on the other side of the the, the wall here. Mm. This so this is our current this layout not, yeah, we have. right now. How PBS stands. Oh, this is the current layout. Yes. Okay. That's but the we just out there? we never had a plan because. Um, as we were building, uh, you know, the original structure is really just um, the master control area, right, and admin. So as we were building back, the offices, I, I guess it was never recorded at land management or something because we don't have plans for it. So they created the existing plan and then they, they're, the, um, they're presenting the, um, the new plan. Mm. So it really does make, uh, it's just way more flow and uh, you'll see that it's not going to be so cramped. I mean, I, we, now, you know the storage room with all the equipment? We have somebody in there now. So there's a desk in there and Nick's in there now. Well, see, so it's, it's the other way around. We're really using every yeah, square the inch here. Yeah. 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 The end. yeah. And then there'll be a mezzanine in the, in the old garage. Thing. So yeah. The See? There. So it really is going to be the first level for storage for development and their workspace, and then upstairs will be their offices, their desks and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Because we just we need more room, and it's just uh, there's no, and to be honest, we need a bigger garage because we have three cars out there that's not um, protected. Now this brings me to think about 
we've recently installed security things, so all of that's going to have to be yes, everything. Back. So part of this plan yeah, also includes the rewiring of the power yes. of the telephone. No, no, the so we've already talked to GTA. Um, we've talked to GTA to rewire, and we showed them the plan, so they know where the offices are, and they're going to put new wiring and phones in every office and every desk. Um, so we've already d we've already done that work. Um, but yeah, the plan, I mean, so part of the upgrade is a total rehaul of the, the wiring, upgrading the power, because you can imagine we have triple the staff that we did in the 90s. <laughs> uh, so we're using a lot more power and um, the building wasn't built for this, built for this. Mm -hmm. So they're going to redo all the power. We're going to have a generator, a generator room uh, that they're building. Um, Do we have a camera CCTV outside? We do. We right have now. eight. Right now, there is so much six time cameras. involved that it's unbelievable. We, we do have, have cameras. Have mm -hmm. It's all the way to the back. Yeah. yeah. And we have alarm. We do have an alarm. We uh, we, we have services G4S. with uh, G4S, so they come well, and monitor come, monthly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Daily, whatever. Drive by. Have you? Has that been tested? By the door. I mean, they come every month. Oh month. yeah, they come. They come, they come and test check. it in the day and yeah. then it sometimes gets triggered and then John Munoz of POC and they John has to come over here John, and dis, uh, disarm yeah. the alarm. I mean yeah. my neighbor has and she's gone a great deal and she has it and there's been quite a few false alarms. Yeah, yeah they do. It happens. Yeah. Okay so I think we could just skip this. This is just part of the, the lab and this is we can skip this as well. Next page one. So if you get to the pictures, these are actual renderings of what they expect the office to be. I mean, maybe not the furniture, right, but the office space. So you can see the conceptual design. This is the lobby area. This is um, offices in the back for production. It's very, yes. Um, are we going to have so control in the lobby, so you like a desk, a person there? to greet people and control. Yeah, so this is the front door, this right. is the lobby, and then on, on, on this this side here is um, the office where uh, Bert, and, I mean, um, Cami and, and Belle are in. Right. That's gonna be kind of like our reception. They're gonna put like a, what do you call those doors? The half door. They're gonna put a... Uh, Dutch door, yeah. Yeah, like they're gonna... Like uh, entrance, you know, yeah. it's gonna be half. Yeah, so that will be a reception, with the slash uh, uh, filing room. So um, all of our accounting, our files, because we got to keep our files for five years, seven years. So all of that will be in that front area. And then you'll see there's two extra rooms. Lorraine's current room will be um, accounting. And then my office will be Lorraine's office. And they're going to connect the two Down. with yeah. the door. So yeah, that my, whole. My, I was just concerned that we protect everybody in the back of the house by a uh, control right here at the very Oh, very yeah. yes, we will have something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we should have something. And now, you know, this doorbell thing, I mean, it should be like a, shouldn't it be a buzzer where someone's sitting and they see you and they buzz you in? Someone has to get up now and open the door. Yeah. Oh, actually, I just like that. You know, if we have a receptionist and that receptionist just has to, you know, press a yeah. button and. We'll find something that. That was just a, uh, I mean, a we bought it. Stuff. But there's one when, yeah. when somebody buzz, the reception has that thing to open. Yeah. But that was just a per, uh, not I, temporary. I yeah. Now you have to do something. Yeah. Criticize it. Yeah. yeah. It'll no, be we'll in the something. future. Yeah. Because I see, you know, KUM, somebody buzz, they look at the, then it turn, you know, they can open it yeah. from their desk. Okay, so <clears throat> I think I am a little bit lost. So the entrance is in the lobby, the first picture to the right, is this one here? Yes. That's the entrance. Mm -hmm. So when you enter on the right hand side, there's going to be a couch and the PBS thing with that TV. And then to the left is going to be the, the, the table. It, it's, a, it's actual, an, it's an office. That one where it says hallway to fire exit, that's across from the entrance, right? I mean, to, to the right in the entrance, to the left of the entrance. It's the current yeah. admin office. Oh, the hallway. The first. Oh, this is a different space of the building. Okay, so when you 
Okay, so this one here. So this here is actually, um, this is the whole, by, kind of where the copier is, that hallway. Going back. Yeah. So I, do you see this when you enter? Where it says hallway to enter? No, you won't see this. Okay. This is how it's going to be. It looks like this. It looks like this is Lorraine's office, my office door right now. The so press, this is back this by the copier. Yeah. So when you when Ina's door, that one will be broken down for this part going backwards. I see. Okay. Where so, the copy machine is. So what I'm trying to say, where this one that says hallway to entrance, that would not be seen from the entrance? No, that's not in the entrance. Okay. No, yeah. it's going to be open up. Okay. That's, um, if you look, if you look, uh, here's an office. That's right here. Where my, that's this thing. The, oh, hey, that's the bathroom. Front door, front door. New office here. Okay, so this is my office right here. So the hallway is this thing here. Oh, I see. So I think you could see that part of the door, and you could see that this is the 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 um, conference. It's not conference tables, but they're supposed to be uh, stations. But I think we're going to put the stations against the okay. wall, not like that. So this is kind of in the back by production. Yeah. What is this on the next page? Crew area. What does that mean? Crew area is this middle area here that's supposed to be. I mean, it kind of looks like a conference area, but it's. Um, <coughs> It's kind of, um, here. this is a crew area, but it's supposed to be six stations facing each other, but um, I'm not going to do that to production. I want them to be like the against the wall because they're not going to get any work done if they're looking at each other. So it's a, it's a workspace. It's, not it's, a, it's, like a, it's like a communal workspace for production okay. instead of um, like a separate area. office. No, no, no. It's going to be, it's going to be like cubicles. Yeah. That crew area. This, yeah. this is going to change. Okay. Yeah. So you could see on the back of the TV, that's Lorraine's office. Here. That's my office now, which is going to be Lorraine's office. So there is a door, actually, to the entrance. Um, and then this is, so the color scheme and everything, they're just using the PBS colors, but they we're not committed to any of this, and this can still change. Mm -hmm. Flooring, paint, uh, all the stylistic stuff will still, ch it will change. But I like it as okay. it is. I mean, I, I think they did a good job. PBS, blue is our color. Yeah, yeah that's And nice. it's very, you know, it's very <laughs> modern looking, and, and I like it. Yeah. So we really tried to just keep all the windows in the right place, I mean, where they currently are. I mean, the contractor has expressed that they could move them around, but I told them, let's save money and keep them where they are, and, you know, if it's not exactly centered, it's still okay. Uh, it's not, not a big deal. Isn't that, I mean, that's such a big problem now. I see so many people here now trying to get, you know, more workers in. I mean, that's what's... There well, is the a worker shortage. Everything in Guam now yeah. is construction. Yep. <clears throat> is there any possibility of adding uh, a window or a door, a double door, or anything that would let in more light? I mean, if we're if we're doing this, mm -hmm. and you know, we're doing it not only for you know the community, but for the employees that work here. You know, oh, people like, like skylights. To have, people like to have bright spaces. So I'm just saying, if there's an opportunity where we could, you know. Instead of a single door on the front, put a double door or a window. Well, and what about solar? What about I think, um, solar panels? I mean, that's, we're looking at that too, yeah, but I, I need to get cost. That is a money saver. It is. I wish I had the money to put it in my house. We just need costing for the renovation first to see what sort of balance we have. I think basically every office does have a window. We just are shuttered up right now. Um, so I, there are, every office with the exception of Greg's office uh, has windows. Okay. So I think we're okay. And then um, part, the garage and door, the, control. the garage and control, yeah. But garage, the, the garage, which will be development, um, they're gonna make like a real nice uh, window feature. So as you drive through, you drive up, it's gonna, you know, so that's gonna be all windows, that whole rolling door. Um, so as you drive up, it'll be like a focal point for PBS. <coughs> so maybe we might put like a big PBS sticker on the front of the windows or something. We'll just have to stylize it. 
um, but that's going to be the focal point of the building um, as you drive up. It's going to be really nice. So we're getting rid of that whole uh, door and, and putting some nice windows. Um, but I think every every window, every room does have a, a window, right? Okay. Except for, yeah, except for Greg's, but Greg's is connected to Don's office, so there's no opportunity to put a window anyway. Well, a skylight a possibility? I, I mean, we could, but I'm just worried about the solar uh, possibility. You know, if there's solar, we want to keep the roof oh. open, because that is the plan. Uh, to have solar eventually. I just don't think that the um, garage carport that we're making, um, I don't think that that's enough roof space for this. Our power bill is like $6,000 a month. So I, I think we need to use the whole I, I actually know, know people that have, for, have had for a long time, I guess they're really smart, solar power and they get money back from GPA. They're selling, <coughs> you know, they're selling, I mean, it's, mm. It's hopefully the way of the future for a tropical island. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so this one where it says office four, is that going to be a second floor? Yes, it's a second floor and that's going to be the development office. So um, the offices are actually going to be upstairs um, because it's, uh, you know, because of the weight bearing issue. Um, and so all storage will be downstairs and then they'll have like a big table or like workspace because they are always doing um, projects and stuff so they need um, space but yep so next to it is there uh, the office space up here you can see there's uh, we really just need about four stations um, graphic artists will probably be downstairs with the storage Where is the office that's going to is, have is this a second floor? No, it's this page bathroom. here. Shouldn't this be in here? Oh, it's over the stairs. Yeah, yeah it's here. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I like this concept because if we had to, we can push everything back, can store in the back, and still have some more additional somebody's washing office their space. And then somebody's for when, you know, if, uh, if and when we grow. It should be. It should be. Okay, well, I love what I see so far. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, very cute. It looks I like, like it. <clears throat> you know. So, you know, Ina, I was looking at the men's toilets. Oh, I see. Here we are. And, uh, and I'm thinking, I mean, that's yeah, weird. Yeah. So, there's the, the wash, uh, the, the, you know, the sink. Somebody's washing their hand and right next to it. Somebody have, can potentially be, be urinating. Yeah, yeah, I think this men just do single. that. that I don't know. Be, <laughs> For women, I don't know. That should be inside. Inside? If you look at it from that perspective, you can imagine that this is only a single person in the bathroom. Yeah. Probably just anyway. lock the door. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about it when you lock the door. It's just you. I mean, you don't have to worry about that at that point. So... Yeah, and but since like there is an, uh, a, like a door in a there, partition. see? Yeah. There's a That's door. Yeah, and I think if you open the door, it's kind of exposed. I, I don't know. I think Maybe they can that should not be there. relocate the door or add another door or something. I don't know. I'll bring that up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Toilet or urinal. Yeah, maybe it shouldn't just be like right when the door opens. Yeah, yeah because the women says single, yeah. so maybe... Anyway, it looks good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to that. <coughs> Very impressive. It's nice, right? I'm excited to see, um, you know, the only other feedback that we um, gave them was master control. We really need to have like a sliding door or something between master control and studio because right now when there's a live production and, you know, the guys are on the, you know, they still have, you know, they can communicate with the their earphones, but you know, chances are someone has to run from master control all the way around here mm -hmm. to do something, and it's just, um, we really just need to have better flow. So you've got input from uh, staff who, who... Production, yeah. yeah. Over their, their particular area, because they, mm -hmm. they know what they need more than yes. certainly we do. Yeah. Production sat in the presentation meeting too, uh -huh. um, because you know originally we were thinking of maybe possibly uh, moving, um, moving our um, master control over to like the back, the new studio. 
But then I was a little bit hesitant because what happens when the lease expires with, uh, or the MOU expires with the GDOE and our, you know, it's a very uh, critical component to production here. So, and not only that, we'd have to be down for, you know, some time. There's so, you know, there's a false floor with, I don't know, thousands of yards of wiring in, in, in the office, so I just didn't want to mess with it, and I just didn't want to deal with having to move it if, in the case, the MOU is uh, is terminated with GDOE. So, um, yeah, I had them sit in the meeting um, every step of the way when yeah. we've gone through walkthroughs or we've met with the engineers. We've had production on hand to give their input, especially when we're talking about what kind of power needs and uh, is sound and yeah. That. And what about the floors? Are they all going to be like this tile sort of? We're going to have tile, a floor. I think we're going to keep the linoleum in here because it's a good sound. I mean, you know, it's not too too echoey. Uh, but uh, so the floors in here are okay, but everything else is getting new tiling, uh, painting, interior, exterior painting. They're going to fix up the roof. Yeah. With ceramic tile or? Yes. Yes. It's just in here. Uh, if we had ceramic tile, the echo in here would be too bad. We couldn't produce. Um, so the linoleum works. It's quieter. I mean, when you're walking on it. it yeah, it's quieter, it absorbs sound. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. So that's basically the renovation. <laughs> um, yeah, we're really excited about that. Um, so in development, we're uh, we're in the middle of readathon. It's still in progress. We've wrapped up the pledge phase, so the kids are, are done with their pledges, and we've done. We have finished um, counting all of the pledges. Uh, we're still getting some stragglers. Uh, we just got some yesterday as well, but um, for the most part, we're done. Uh, we're currently procuring prizes, and then after the prizes, we'll distribute the smaller prizes to the school. We'll have an award ceremony, award ceremony um, for the larger prizes, and we're looking at having that um, maybe like the second or third week of January at a Ganya shopping center. And then after that, um, or at the same time, we'll be awarding the schools and the coordinators with their top prizes and class parties. So the top class per school will get a pizza party, and so we'll, we'll deliver our pizzas uh, probably toward the end of the month, oh wait, after Christmas break, and then um, have the award ceremony in December, uh, January. Uh, here's kind of a snapshot. This is very pre pre it's a prelim preliminary profit and loss statement. Um, we'll finalize this once the procurement is done and we have a good idea of what um, the spend is for the prizes. I'm, I'm estimating it to be about $20,000 uh, for <laughs> prizes. Um, but overall, we've raised about $64,000, $64,805. Um, funding from sponsors is about 6400 um, so the total revenue plus the sponsorship was about $71,205.38. and um, 38 Estimating costing, cost of prizes is about $20,000. Um, so that leaves us with about a $50,000 revenue. And we have about $30,766 in in-kind donations. Um, oh, so 51000 30000 is in-kind? No, plus. 30,000. Okay. So total revenue, right, because we can count in kind, uh, is about 81,971, around there. Mm, yeah, we can't count. Oh, we can't count. This yeah. one's fundraising, right? Yeah, fundraising. Sorry, so we don't count it. But, yeah. Overall. Yeah. Overall, that's what it is. And that is for Readathon. Um, and I do have some procurement in a little bit later. Um, our second gala was pretty successful. Thank you all for attending. Um, that was on the 19th of November at the Hilton. I think everyone, I mean, we've gotten really good feedback. Um, I would, oh, wait, sorry, wait, that's wait, a, a have, So, <coughs> sorry, the in-kind donations for the readathon is like, like what kind? Like media support, we got some print ads. Um, we have, um, Raising Canes is giving us a few, like a coupons. couple, like a thousand coupons. Uh, Faith Bookstore is giving us like five, five dollar coupons for every single student. And you, you give it to the student. And we give it to the student and part of their prize package. So, but do you have to report these in-kind donations as well? We do. They have to be, okay. Yeah. So anyway, 81,000, almost 82,000 revenue, that's yeah. good. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good fundraiser for us. Um, we just had, I mean, especially considering we had one in the spring, 
Um, so, I mean, we didn't, uh, so we, we want to do readathon in the fall because it's easier for us. We can, uh, we, we have the kids uh, raise the funding and then we're not pressured to like wait for the next board meeting to get the procurement because, you know, when we do it in the spring, um, by the time we're ready to procure and prizes come in, it's already su almost summer, like, you know, and yeah. in May, teachers are tapped out, it's hard to get the kids, you know, and it's just, yeah, no, it's easier for us in the fall, so yeah. we're going to continue to do it in the fall. Okay. Um, so part of the, so for the gala, I have a cute uh, profit and loss statement here on the, uh, on the, on the following page. Um, this is kind of this is our total revenues and expenses uh, for the gala. Um, you, you can see the expenses were pretty high, and that's because of our talent. Um, but overall, I think we still did a really good job. Um, revenues were at forty thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars. Expenses were thirty six one five six eighteen. That left us with a net to station at seven forty seven thirteen eighty two. Um, we also got some in-kind, about $16,000 of in-kind. Um, so uh, this is kind of just a breakdown of the cost. You can see we had a few... Wait, 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 but I don't see here the, the, the price per ticket. Where, where is that? It is... Um, you know the, it's right here under... Um, the two hundred thousand, the two hundred dollars per person, or, or yes. where is it? I think it's added here. So, in the Excel, there's another sheet that has all the ticket log, and then the revenue is added. So the revenue in this in this column is revenue from ticket sales plus the seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand was no something that's in jive in here. If you add up. All these pay the sponsorship is uh -huh. seventeen seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand, and then and part of that forty. The sponsorship is sixteen fifteen, so thirty four. No, we're, yes, but we're not counting. So the in kind is here. This is in kind. That's totally separate. So the seventeen thousand is added with the ticket sales. So ticket sales is on another. It's on another sheet on another tab. So when we calculated the revenue, it's just a formula. So it equals the total number from ticket sales plus the total revenue, which is a 17,295. Oh, you mean the, the take okay. 40. Yeah. You take so, the revenue. So the expenses, yeah. 36,000, oh, that's, that's a lot. It was high, but the talent was 14,000. Uh, was it 14 well, or 12? 12,000, so. 12,000, yeah. yeah. And no. then the most, the, the bulk of the, I mean, the bulk of the expenses was the 13,000 for the Hilton, right? We had 200 plates at 60 bucks, around 60 bucks. Um, the florist was 2,100, <laughs> sound and lighting. How many plates? Uh, we sold out at 200. No, no, but how much, uh, how so many people? 200 plates, right? 200, 200 plates. 200 people? Oh, no, 240. 240, 240. 240 attended? Yes, yes. Wow. So I think that was the only criticism that it was, it was too crowded. We needed a bigger ballroom. And yeah. People, and and uh, people getting food were practically like a bath of someone sitting yeah. down and, yeah. you know, I think they're going to And the food, the $50 per person, the food was... It was 55 plus tax. The food was really substantial. Yeah. And, but anyway, so, so the net was only 4000 5000 Yeah, that was yeah. the net. So much effort for that. I'm sorry, what is, well, I can't hear you for. Uh, okay, so, so the net uh, income was 4,700, 13 mm -hmm. or 14. Um, so for too much effort and there's not too much money. The gala is also, you know, it, it, it's also uh, it's also a marketing tool for us, yeah, right? Well, that, we yeah, use that was it good. to get uh, the awareness of PBS. Um, it I had almost 250 captured uh, captured audience that sat there and listened to all the programs that we produced over the year. So for me, it's more so about getting the business community together and showcasing PBS. Um, for me, for a gala, uh, you know, if we're breaking even, I'm happy with it. Uh, just because we have, um, um, we have um, all of our, we have advertisers there, um, and we have a captured audience, you know. So that is the opportunity for our development people to go and talk to these people and get them to know more about PBS and hopefully do more business with us in the future, which I think has worked. I mean, we had Bank of Guam there, Community First. 
um, Coast 360, uh, uh, not, Coast 360 uh, and they were all pretty happy with it. Uh, AM Insurance was also their auto spot, Paradise Fitness. We had lots of business, Take Care. Lots of companies uh, the, there. The Kloppenbergs were there. I don't. The know. Kloppenbergs were there. Yeah. Graphic Center was there. Yeah. 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 So well, I mean, you know, we did splurge a little bit with uh, Off Island Band, but I, to be honest, I think that's what helped pack the room. Mm -hmm. You know, it was such a great event because of the band. Mm -hmm. um, to me, it was worth it. I mean, they were really good. I think so I mean, too. That's not even really my kind of music, but I thought they were really good. That that talent fee was twelve thousand. We can reduce it and do something local and probably spend twenty five hundred or two thousand dollars. But then you know, like, are we going to pack the room as the revenue? You know, like, I don't know. I think overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with the event. I thought it was pretty successful. Governor, Lieutenant Governor was happy. I think a lot of our um, a lot of our advertisers were very very happy. I mean, considering how crowded it was, nobody left. <laughs> Yeah. Even after the band left, people were still Jeff was playing, you know, whatever electric oh, yeah. slide, and people were still playing, and it was warm. Yeah, you know, and a lot of people were dancing. I think everyone had a good time, and I, I'm yeah, I'm I, happy that they I got think to. People had a really good time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I think it was very nice, and, and, and it was successful, and besides, we, we didn't lose money, so it was good. But I think that if we we're going to do it an annual thing. Next time, we should go for a better venue, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, like uh, Ducid or, or Hyatt or the other hotel over there. How is it called now? It's, it's got a new Brown. name now. You know, Inoka, the one yeah. Inoka. So that we have a bigger venue so that it's no crowded. We have, we have, have a better yeah, and, exhibit and for the, for the selling the higher, option. Right? And um, so and better food. Has it at the Hyatt because they have the food in the hall, mm -hmm. so you're not anywhere near. Right. So, so you are no I bumping mean, in this. The no. layout is, I think, yeah. You know, having. We did food, go. We did go to all the hotels. Yeah, I know. I know you yeah. did. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're government of Guam, so we really had to just go with the lowest bid. <laughs> you know, and that's that was too bad. Um, you know, we were very close to going to the Deuce It. We were actually, uh, it was me, Tina, and Annie. We were at the Deuce It, uh, exploring just using one of the ballrooms, and then as we were there, the lady uh, who was helping us took a call and booked the room. So, um, and we were there looking at it. So, you know, it, it was just, it's holidays and it's everybody and their moms having something. It was, it was pretty difficult. So that's why we really needed just a lock in a place. And, and um, it was really between, uh, uh, I forget who were the three, top three, but it was, uh, I think the Hilton, I wanna say Sheridan and uh, Leo Palace were the, like the lowest. Oh, well, Leo Palace is so far yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, we went to Leo too, and it, it, they don't, they haven't really rented that room out for a while. So I think, I think one, one thing to think of though is whatever the venue is, mm -hmm. to have a place that can have the food outside of where people are yeah. sitting. I mean, I, I mean, originally we were we were planning for 170, right? When we were going to have Jesse and Ruby. So at 170, uh, we could have had a plate at dinner. At when we were starting to push 200. The Hilton was saying, no, we don't have the staff for this. We can't do it. There's too well, many events. That's, that's I think, the other thing. I think they usually uh, maybe like team up with the other hotels and, and get staff, but um, they weren't able to do it. They just told us, no, it has to be buffet. So it ended up being a buffet. No, but that, that's for the whole island, the employment, which just yeah. boggles the mind that anyone is unemployed now because they are desperate. The hotels are desperate. Yeah. Really. So I know that was... Well, um, the, the play that is, of course, nicer, but of course, more money. But um, the Bank of Guam had their party on last Saturday, and uh, at the Duce, and it was buffet, and the food was excellent. Really? Oh, it was really, really good. It, you know, they changed their uh, idea from other years, and instead of, instead of too much food, too much selection, it was less selection. But it was very good. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah. Not to have so many different things, but yeah. Yeah. I would just like to say that I think uh, we've all kind of agreed that the gala is not so much a fundraising tool as a marketing tool. But it you know, has to be both. We have to look at it that way. Um, we, we didn't lose money, right? Yeah. We made a little money, but the, but the community support 
and goodwill that we're generating by doing something like that, the buzz that we create, that's only yeah. going to translate into I think that's true. a yeah. positive uh, yeah. energy. For the yeah, but, but if in the process we can make some more money. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Anyway, the goal. congratulations to everyone because yeah. the, the, it was nice. I mean, I, I really had fun and I'll, I'll, everybody that I everybody met. Had and, fun. Everybody. Yeah. yeah, so it was My very dad nice. My had fun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so our next item is the Holiday Festival Light Festival. PBS is presenting the Holiday Light Festival along with um, Gita and GVB. Um, the festival is launched on December 5th and will continue to January 7th. Um, PBS has been managing the event to include um, Movies in the Park, which is on Thursday nights. Um, next week, Thursday, will be our last night. We'll do one tonight. Um, uh, nightly uh, weekend entertainment starting Friday through Sunday. Um, you'll see Christmas carolers, dancers, um, non nonprofit, um, local, uh, public, and cath uh, Catholic school, private schools. Um, also, we're going to have an island-wide. Oh, we had the island-wide illustrators contest, and I've I've sent some of the submissions to the board chat if you want to take a look at that. Um, and then also the Christmas parade happening on the 17th. We've attached some artwork. Oh, yeah. Christmas parade is the day after tomorrow. Yes, it's on Saturday. What, what time? It's um, at 7 p.m. Oh. at Skinner Plaza. It's just a small parade that goes around Skinner Plaza. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that is for Christmas festival. <laughs> for production, um, PBS University has completed now uh, season five, and it's published onto YouTube. Season six is currently getting uploaded and indexed and also timestamped onto the channel. Once that happens, then we'll be able to broadcast that. Um, we have PBS University Higher Learning Season 6 loaded. On, that would just went on to YouTube. Um, and we need to finish indexing before we publish it. Lastly, our YouTube channel for PBS University is finally, um, it's finally personalized. So it's youtube.com slash PBS University. PBS Higher Learning, so um, and it's personalized, which really basically means we have enough subscribers to have our own name. So YouTube is giving us the name now. Um, wow. We're also working on PBS uh, on Higher Learning. We're also working on an archaeology and ancient sites of the Marianas mini course with Dr. Michael Carlson from uh, Carson from University of Guam. I think he uh, is a professor, but uh, lives out in Australia. Um, and it's in post-production now, and that will be the next season of PBS University. Um, the 22 uh, UOG Men's and Women's Basketball League just ended, um, and the games are available on our YouTube channel as well. Um, as far as engineering, John Munoz is currently working with the PBS uh, 6 system and the contra uh, PBS Engineering and Contractors on Phase D, E, and F of 6. And that is the major upgrade. Uh, I don't know. It's going to take at least like three more years, I think. Um, and um, we did run across a hiccup that gave us a little bit of delay. We needed, um, there was something wrong with uh, one of their Titan servers. I don't know about this jargon, and I don't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're upgrading our systems to connect to all the PBS uh, uh, nationally, national um, um, networks. Networks, yes. Yeah. So we'll be able to connect to DC and Hawaii and Puerto Rico, everywhere, um, and connect and see. Uh, uh, well, it's just content sharing instead of, it's really just to get rid of the satellites, but also so we could share local content. Is that? Uh, it's a national in, in, incentive. But it's, not, uh, initiative. it's not satellite anymore, right? No, it, it won't be sat. It's going to, uh, it's going to replace the satellite. That will take about 10 years. So it's fiber. It's all, Fiber yeah, optimal. yeah, broadband. Cable. You mean that yeah. means we can get their shows and they can get our shows? Yeah, mm -hmm. eventually, yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, when I go to the, when I go to the annual meetings, a lot of it is talking about broad uh, copywriting and making sure we have all of our copyright ag agreements in order because uh, to prepare for six, we need to make sure that, you know, like um, everything is in order and that we're able to share our local programming and we actually own it or we have some sort of agreement that we can, co-broadcast or something. So, um, yep, that would be like a whole national, national uh, um, initiative. So, hopefully soon. 
not hopefully soon. So um, yes, hopefully, but it's not going to be soon. Mm -hmm. So this is called a, a team? A team? Um, no, that's the um, server that went down, and so they had to send us a new, um, a new uh, SDI card to replace it. But um, it's called PBS6 system. It's S and then capital I-X, like okay. nine. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what they're calling it. So, so then that what it means that whatever any PBS station do, does all over the U.S., mm -hmm. it, it can be transmitted everywhere. We're all going to be connected. And what it, well, I mean, more so, it just means that it's going to relieve our, give us relief of the reliance of satellite. Um, you know, PBS uh, uh, Corporation is trying to, you know, they're constantly trying to find ways to reduce fees and stuff like that. And satellite fees are really... Um, a high ticket item, so they're creating this six um, system to interconnect all the stations together so that we don't have to deal with uh, satellite, you know, reliance. Everything is underwater cable, you know, broadband pretty much, right? So undersea cable um, now. So that's why we had uh, last year, I'm not sure if you were sitting on the board, but we had a major upgrade to MCO and we're having, like, we can now receive 100 megs up and down, upload, download, right? So, uh, and basically nobody does, has that here, you know, like, um, so we've already, I mean, we're like, John Moon has been working on this since I started. It's just a very long process because all the, uh, nationwide, everybody's getting um, installed at the same time. So they're trying to keep everybody on the same phase. And we're actually a little bit uh, advanced. Yeah. Good. Compared to some of the other, because we're so small, you know, John can just do it, it's done. <laughs> um, so, and then I think the last item was um, the AC repair. I have the requisitions. We can go through that um, when we're ready for procurement to fix the air con at the, tra the tra okay. transmitter site. Right. Busy, busy. Yes, we're always busy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Thank you. Um, financial statements review. You have the profit and loss and balance sheets in front of you. Um, looking at uh, page one, profit and loss. I just had a couple of questions. Um, telecommunications, twenty-seven ninety-seven. Is that a recurring cost or is that was that a one-time cost? This is just for the month of November. Just for November. Yes. So what? Um, telecommunications costs, uh, what, what does that entail? What are we paying for? That is the phone lines, the cell phone, the internet. internet. We have two internets, that's the MCO room and then the office. The bigger, the big cost is the MCO internet because it's 5G. It's, yeah. uh, that's what's needed to do our YouTube, you know, uploading. So we bid that out costs on that? a lot. Did we go for a bid on that? We got that was folks. A yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think, I don't Docomo, think they were able to do Yeah, Docomo could not do. The speed that we needed for yeah. six. It was the upload that was the problem. So it's our demand that's driving that mm -hmm. choice and the choice is expensive. Yes. Okay. And that's a recurring cost monthly. Yes. Yeah. Any chance we can drive it down? I mean, nobody has that speed. So, so I'm talking about who is it? GTA. It's GT. Do we have a partnership with them? We try to. I mean, we approach them for everything. Um, they actually worked with us for um, the basketball game. They yeah. We we try to. Every, I mean, whenever we have anything, we do approach them and engage them. They did use to underwrite with us, but then their marketing team is. Kind of like the, they've had a turnover, so we try. We still it might be worth a shot to just go back and touch base and yeah. try to build, rebuild that relationship. I think Stasha works. She works with them. Yeah. She, everything that we do, she approaches them. I know it's going to go a little bit down for because we're redoing our GTA um, phone lines. Mm -hmm. We're getting new systems for our phone, so um, they're bundling it. Yeah, it's going to be 
probably not as much down, but <laughs> a couple hundred bucks. Hundred bucks, yeah. Contract production cost, bottom of page one. That is this we're paying for the contractors, the, the contract workers that's doing PBS University, which that is reimbursable. Yeah, that's the grant employees. Yeah. That is the, the teachers you hire. Those the twenty six right now is paying for just the the contract workers that's doing PBS University. And you get reimbursed for that? Uh, through yeah. through the the Guam State Clearing House, it's a grant. Yeah. Yeah. That's been exhausted though, but we built. Yeah. The the. We built it already, so we're the, just still. Okay. Of the contract. So. Can I ask, what is this um, deferred revenue, 570,000? Um, you're looking at the balance sheet right now? Yeah. Are you on the balance sheet? Okay. Oh, um, oh I mean, uh, sorry, I, have you finished already? You haven't finished in the profit and loss, so? I think so, are we done with profit and loss? Any are any you, questions yeah. on profit and loss? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's on her balance sheet? Yeah. Okay. Page two. So you're... What does this loss mean? Which one? Okay. Profit and loss. The profit and loss is the very first page, this one. Well, there's two. There's page one and two, and then there's page one and two for the... Uh, the balance sheet is one. what we have. You've got profit and loss? Yeah. yeah. Profit and loss is just this. Yeah. So did you finish over the profit and loss? I think so. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so altogether, we we basically is a is a negative forty thousand. Are you you're talking about the loss. balance? Page yeah. two of the profit and loss. The page two of the profit and loss. Okay, profit and loss. The loss is because you have the defer the, uh, what we receive the month and what we expect. The, exactly. The November yeah. is not closed yet, so you do not have the. The CSG amount uh, put in as a receipt. The revenues. Yes. So revenues for for November are missing. They're not received. They're not. This, the, the, the books you, hasn't been closed. You haven't received them. That's why is this for you? You would have yes. Once we put in the CSG. Yeah, but the still, but the still is. What is still? So the reason is because of the revenues. Do yes. You, how much are the revenues that are not here? Uh, you, it's with the CSG, the community service grant, whatever we spent on the, C, on the community service grant, it would that be, hasn't been put in. But how much is that, Mark? You're talking 10, 7, 10, 14, 30, uh, 30, so about 40, yeah, it's about 40,000. 40, 40 some. So then, uh, it, it, at the bottom line, it will be the it'll be a plus. The net income would be at very low. Yes. But that's because we have a lot of uh, you know expenses like supplies yeah, and materials and purpose. things like that, right? Well, isn't yeah. that typical for the, this is just to overhead to uh, spend? Right? right. Well, if the books are clo closed, we would have uh, a, a positive. positive right. Yeah. Because right now, if you add up all the expense on the community service grant, mm -hmm. if we put the amount on the top as an income, then that would offset. Yeah. yeah. So I think what you're looking at in the profit and loss are just basic, uh, sorry, just basic expenses and overhead. Yeah. You know, it's just employee wages, it's um, insurance, power, stuff like that. You know, like um, those are the major expenses. Uh, we don't have anything here that's um, okay. Nothing major. So let's go to the balance sheet now. So okay. page one. Yeah. Now we're on balance sheet. Yes. Okay. So, wow. This $1,876,000, what's that? Bank of Guam. That's how much, the top, the asset is the our current assets, what we have in the bank right now. Okay, we have there, the CSG is the community service grant. So, um, 
that is the total. Then we have the private funds. What does TDOA mean? It's just a uh, uh, Bank of Guam. Uh, it's uh, it's how we name it from. It was an account that we uh, deferred. It was a digital def uh, account that we named it DDF. Oh. Yeah. It's a, but really it's just a, it's just a CSG money, grant money. Oh. Okay. And yeah. We just we just left the name, but DDF is the digital trans uh, funding. I forgot what is the digital. Some, yeah, but we get from CSG. Is there any significant difference between account 01 and 08 in terms of what those accounts can do or have well, one of them is just the same. No, one is our savings and one is our, our checking, like a checking. But there's the one, that's, just, set the one that's TDOA is neither. It's not it, savings or checking. It, TDOA is, is part of uh, Bank of Guam's thing as like, uh, what do you call that, uh, TCD? Okay, so, yeah. so, so yeah. You, it's a name that... So they produce an income. Yes, it's an income yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, it's so just it's, naming it as what, you know, we have our, our checking, we have our savings and TDOA account. So the yeah. bulk of your money, you're going to throw it in there because it's going to generate yeah. a certain amount of interest, although it's probably... Well, yeah, it's and very small. And basically that money is earmarked for the renovation. Yes, that so, is the so renovation. So we just put it in there, right? Now, Rather it. than having it right okay. there, put it in an account that gives you some income. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a specific just purpose to put that money in that particular account. Yeah. Yes, to move it away from the checking. Which is essentially like a capital account. improvement yeah. fund, right? Yes. Basically. Oh, okay. Yes. That's, that's so I, I, I have a question regarding the um, balance sheet. So. 666,000 in accounts receivable, it's a little bit too high, no? Where are we? Well, 563 in accounts receivable. Page two? No. Page, page one. Two. Okay. Where is she? Page are you talking in about the middle of the page the balance sheet? Are you, yeah. yes. are you talking about count 1019? No, 1100. 1100. 1100. Uh -huh. Yeah. Total accounts receivable. Yes, 1019. Account 2019. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, that's receivable. That's money that we receive. No, accounts receivable is money is still you have to receive. Accounts. But, okay, so we receive because the five hundred thousand uh -huh. that we're still pending. Still um, pending that was with for D O A. It's an invoice from D O A. So oh, still, we have still we a lot to them, of. But they haven't paid it yet. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we this have account money. receivable is money that is coming to you from DOA or from a grant. Uh, DOA and other government of Guam agency that okay. we're waiting for. All right. For. Okay. I just but thought. But a bulk of it. I mean, it's not like we have like thousands of open receivables. It's a. It's maybe like four or five of them that yes. equal to seven hundred thousand. Yeah, but but because. We're just waiting on DOA to transfer the funding. Yeah. We've submitted Most the invoices. Most of it is DOA so and they just receivable. Need to process I mean, they have it. There's no doubt we're going to get it. Yeah, we yeah. invoiced it to them. But who else besides? Uh, 500 Public thousand. health, there's um, uh, mental, uh, disability, what is it? Uh, uh, Guam, Guam Behavioral. Behavior health and. So all of this is government? Yes. yes. Okay, well, it, there's no any other company yeah. that we do no. things for and then yeah. they have to pay us. So this that, is all through no. DOA, which is all through the government. Otherwise, it would be a private invoice to X company. All right, okay. Yeah, but most of our private, we receive. We receive it yeah. in, in 30 days. Okay. Okay, so then. This is pretty much carryover from the last meeting, too. We're still just waiting for the invoice to be paid. So then uh, it brings me back to the defer revenue on the second page. Is that is that counting that monies that are supposed to come? It's more or less you know, deferred. No, the deferred revenue, this is the CSC, CSG deferred revenue of 570. Um, this amount is what we have starting uh, 2023 um, fiscal year. 
it's a deferred from last fiscal year, so it's brought over to the new fiscal year. So is it in here? Is, is it is with you guys already? We are going to be using this amount. But deferred. you have it already or no? Yes, okay. we received the money. Okay. All right. So meaning we're, we're using this money deferred because it has to be spent by the end of this fiscal 2023 budget. But it says uh, it's under current liabilities, meaning that, that you owe it. Because we're going to, we're, it's, it's what they call uh, putting in the deferment so that we, sh I'm gonna try and explain how <laughs> they told us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a cruel liability. Yeah, it is a liability because what we're going to do is we're going to get like the money coming in. This thing's going to go down. The deferment money um, amount will every month it'll be um, taken out of this amount. So it's a liability. It's a liability, meaning that's how much CSG is going to pay us, give us. That you have to get pay back. No, it's no, a grant. It's a grant. It's a grant money that we should be receiving. Mm -hmm. That's that's the liability so that we have. CSG pays us in phases, right? They give yeah. us an initial initial lump first, sum. First and, payment and then second payment. And, but in order for us to get it, we have to do things like we have to be in compliance with the loan uh, thing. We have to upgrade, uh, update our, upload our audits to them. We have to make sure that everyone took the sexual harassment training. Um, that's why we were so we were really stressing about making sure everyone took it because we would be penalized and it costs money. Yeah. It cost us money. So we once we are in compliance, they give us the first part of our our grant. And then once they see, uh, and then um, they give us the second part of the grant. And so this fu this funding for CSG really goes to paying staff CSG only Sally. only CFG CSG staff Sally. and um, PBS basically bill. license the yeah. PBS license uh, membership. Yeah. Okay. Well, but you know what? Like this is a little bit confusing to me because. Is listed under liabilities, but yet it says deferred revenue. Mm -hmm. Deferred revenue means it's going to come, but liabilities is that you have to pay it out. We eventually pay it out once our money is received. Right here it says current liabilities is 63,000. And I'm saying, wow, that's a lot. A long-term liability, 28,000, what is that? That's government, that's our pension. Okay. Those are all government. Okay, so, so I understand that. I understand the accrued liabilities, you know, for the wages payable and payroll liabilities, and these accrued liabilities, I understand. But this huge amount for defer Revenue, which is under liabilities, is, I don't know. So it could it, be that it, there's just a uh, misunderstanding of how they're uh, booking it, how it's being booked. Uh, yeah. I don't claim to be. Maybe we can ask Jerry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you uh, tell Jerry to explain what that is? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so any other questions or notes in regards to balances or profit and loss? I think the more we go over this, the more we'll be, uh, you know, comfortable with. Well, it, I mean, it looks good. It's just that there are certain numbers that I just don't know how they. Well, exactly. That's why yeah. we're here to question those numbers that, that don't make sense to us. So. Um, okay. I do kind of understand how it is when you know the CSG puts that money and we can't touch it or we can only take part of it. And so if, if the station were to say, well, that's a deferred revenue because we can't touch it yet, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly that's sure if that's booking. how it's, yeah. it's booking at that CSG account. money is really just employee salaries, benefits, and yeah. um, that, that's very straightforward. I understand yeah. that CSG yeah. membership fees. Um, 
So it could be that the, the station is calling it something that we're not uh, familiar with. We can just ask Jerry. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many procurements today. So let's move on. Okay, but I do encourage the entire board to, you know, to ask those questions. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, financial statements, old business. We've already talked about the conceptual design. Yeah. Yes. Board. Board. I know we don't need to go back there, right? No, it's no, the board. We're done. Okay. So the board initiatives are just uh, the things that we've uh, asked the station to. Uh, you mean board. Board. Yeah. Yes. Board. Yeah, I yes, forgot the D. Board. Board. No, 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 no. I said what was the D missing? There's some wild pigs outside the corner. <laughs> Boy, there are plenty of those. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so uh, I noted in the minutes uh -huh. that uh, there were a couple of uh, notations about when uh, certain uh, PSAs were running. Uh, I don't. I don't need to go back to them. I, well, I know one of them that I suggested was something about littering, and I think uh, Mary Thor also made a comment agreeing with me. You did, and I noted that yeah. in the minutes, and. Uh, it's just really irritates me. The Hotel Restaurant Association and the Japanese Association cleaned the beaches this weekend. You know, and I find that really suppressing. Yeah. So we've accomplished two things. We've gotten uh, a driving, distracted driving kind of thing, right, Ina? It's kind of, it's kind yeah. of what we wanted. Mm -hmm. And then also the uh, multilingual uh, PSAs or announcements. That's right. Mm -hmm. so we've accomplished those two. So now would be the perfect time if you want the beach to do that a, should also be an to ask the station to see if they could find a way to make that also fit within the framework of what we're. Yeah, I mean, our, can our, our people can do that, right? I mean, they can make some little thing of. You, you know what I think it would be a good. Um, it's a suggestion, okay? Just an idea. So, all these people that are cleaning the island, right? Rotary Club does it every now and then. Rotary, Rotary does it, yeah. um, sometimes high schools do it. I believe this weekend is going to be the Hotel and Restaurant Association that is are going to go out and clean in, and, and this is what so we're The hotel and, and Japanese did it last weekend. Yeah, so whenever this is done, if, if you can send somebody to document it and, the, and then put it in the news so that, you know, to, to, to really show it to people that Hey, you know, we need to clean up, and and, and we, we thank to these people that volunteer for cleaning up, mm -hmm. because you know when people I mean, see that people do the it, then cans. they will do it. Yeah, we don't have the garbage cans, and uh, according to the people I know that were involved in that pickup, including some Japanese friends, and actually it was in the PDN I think, uh, for closed. Uh, it was the parking lot of Matapang. They said. People I personally know were cleaning up the beach, and they said there wasn't much on the beach at the time that they went, but that the parking lot was full of trash. And you know, I'm always checking up on um, whether it's G. Some things are parks and rec, and some things are GVB. And it's really hard to find out exactly who does specific things. The garbage cans, I believe, are GVB. And there aren't enough of them, and they're broken. Okay, well let, let's 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 stick to something that we okay. can do. Well, I'm saying yeah. we can well, you know, put a, P, a PBS on. Um, I I think that the garbage uh, cans availability is good. That's the government thing, but I think that we have to instill in people is that oh, not it is better. open ourselves, every one of us. If yeah. I go to the park, or we have a barbecue, or we have something, we have to get trash bags with us so that at the end when we leave we clean up and, every, and we take the trash bag with us rather than leaving it in there. It, it, it's just a matter of every day Education. hammering and telling people and, and like Okay, so what, what does the board want to do in terms of an, an initiative? Would you represent uh, I, I, ads on television like the... I like think the, it should be praise. It should be uh, praise and announce when, uh, when every one of these organizations do something like that. Okay, that's something that uh, I would can do. Maybe yes. ask you to communicate directly with Paul Suba and say you'd like to have him. No, no, shouldn't the director do that? Or? Well, um, 
you can do no. it that way as well. Okay. Um, and then the other thing would be to have uh, Rosemary idea of uh, just having, you know, PSAs, come on, you know, please don't litter. Maybe a short. You know the old one? Every litter bit hurts. I mean, that's like a classic. I mean, that could, I yeah. mean, stuff like that. And we could have it in all those languages. Uh, it begins with you. You yes. know, clean uh, up. Cliche, but to yeah. Yeah. You know, this is our home. This is our island. Please yeah. clean okay, up. So it begins if we have a with a motion you. for the station to mm -hmm. pursue uh, along the lines of the previous board initiatives, an, in an initiative to focus on um, littering, right? That's yeah. what we're yeah. here. Yeah, to avoid littering. And oh, to beautify. And, and, and to find ways to shine light on. Uh, organizations that are already addressing the problem. Good. Yeah. I like the way you put it. Okay. So, so like it's two prongs. <laughs> so move. Okay. okay. Yeah. So move. Yeah. Can I get a second? I second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Hmm. Thank you, Rosemary. That was great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, new business. Holiday Festival of Lights. Okay. I thought we were done with that. We did. Yeah, we're done. We did that. I, I did it already. We're, All that we've done. We're down to resolutions now. I mean, requisitions. So are we still yeah, re requisitioning for holiday festival lights? Yes, yeah, oh, so we yeah, did oh, this them. If we could just move to the procurement stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the first item is FY 2022-RQ2. And this is for um, broadcasting equipment to restore functionality of the delayed server on bro uh, for the broadcast. So um, it's equipment that is broken at MCO. We need to replace it. Um, it's um, HD4, SDI, QAM, SDI to ASI converters. We need one of those. Um, and then shipping. So um, Just briefly, what is that? It's like, um, it's, um, okay, so our server, it, we, we need this equipment so that it's in it's master. Converter. Uh, it, converter to, um, how do I say this? It signal. Jesse was explaining. Yeah, he was yeah. explaining to us. <laughs> Jesse was explaining to us in the you. copier. Okay, I believe So it converts you. the signal and stabilizes okay. it. Yeah. So okay. um, the brand that we have, uh, it, there is only one place. There is this other company, Coleman um, Limited in the UK, but not it's available not available for from one. here. And there is no other providers that have it. So basically, it's like a sole source um, at $4,850 and $63 with shipping. Is that local? Or no, it's no. not. Oh. You can get this on the off no. So, so this is needed. We need this. Yeah, it's yes. a company out of um, Torrance, California, um, and yes, we need this for our broadcast. Okay. Because it's bro Can okay. I breaking. Can I move that we accept this? Uh, that we approve this? Uh, basically, sole source uh, uh, RQ two. Okay. I okay. second to Thor Fibery. So the motion was to approve FY 2022 RQ2 to Thor Fiber uh, in the amount of $4,850.63. Thanks. Motion, can I get a second, please? I second. Already second. Oh, okay. Sorry. okay. Rosemary second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Okay, so the next one here is. Um, this is for, um, sorry, it's for technical support for our vendor Rushworks. Um, we did have a server replaced. Which, which, which one, one is this? Oh, this is for, sorry, FY 2023-9, RQ-9. And it's for Rushwork tech support for MZO and engineering. It's uh, that one. this one here. <coughs> So this one also is a sole source because um, this is the equipment that we have and we need their specific technical support. Um, and it's straightforward. It's $4,032 for the, for the year. Um, Sorry, I don't see that. It's this one? Nine, requisition nine. Let's add another page. 
It was right up. Got yeah. it. Got it. So this one is, um, here we go, this is revised. So technical. Yeah, it's just technical support, um, and we need it for the broad, I mean, it's, it's, our, um, it's our whole logs, our system um, in master control. Um, so it's the equipment that we have and the program, I mean, the network that we have is through Westworks, and we need to have their specific technical assistance. So. Uh, it's a sole source, basically. Is this like a subscription that you can uh, go to this company and say we have a problem? Is that what yes. you're doing? So we have their equipment, and now we need their technical support, but we need to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So this is a so this four thousand dollars is annual technical support. Mm -hmm. okay. How often are they used? As we far use as them technical? every month. Yeah, John calls them overnight on time. Okay. And it, we have their equipment, so there's nobody else that can give us technical support for rush work stuff. So basically, we just have to buy it. Okay. I move to approve FY2023-9 um, to rush works for the amount of 4,032.00. I'll second that. In favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any carries, thank you. So our next item is FY 2023-RQ3, uh, 31, uh, 31. And this RQ3? one is... RQ3? I don't have that. 31. 31. Yeah. 31. Uh, 31. It's item C on your list. 31. Okay, this one is for readathon student prizes. Um, and basically, we need to buy 240 solar robot kits. Um, and it's for like our second prize level of readathon. Um, so what happens is they have a, they have, they can pledge, they receive pledges, and if you get a certain value, certain category, you get that package. So I needed to get 240 uh, solar robot kits. Um, we've looked at Amazon, Walmart, and Target. Um, the lowest quote is from Amazon at 344639. Um for the and they do have the quantity that we need on hand. Solar robot. But what, what, what does it do exactly? What is it? It's a robot. Prize. It's a it's a prize for readathon. Yeah. It's a toy. It's a toy. Okay. Remember and in, in we did the profit and loss for readathon, we made some of uh, fifty thousand some odd. Sure, sure. Yeah. All right. So we need to issue the prize. Okay. So I need to order two hundred and forty pieces of that. Okay, so I move that uh, we order two hundred and forty robo what do you call Solar it? Solar robot kits. Robo kits as prices for the readathon plus the shipping from Amazon in the amount of 3,446.39. I second. Okay, just to clarify, this is FY 2023 RQ 331. Oh, yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh, motion by Mary Flora, seconded by Rosemary. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Our next item is FY 2023-RQ315, and this is for um, Festival of Lights um, security at Skinner Plaza. So we were fundraising to um, cover the cost of the event. We were able to raise $25,000. So I needed to pay for security, not only for the lights, um, but there's a, everything out there. There's our sound guys' equipment, and um, there's a big balloon from the from the mayors, and it really is just the lights too. So um, this is for security for the month. Um, we did get three quotes. Unfortunately, Denancy Security didn't have the staff to produce a quote, um, but we did get one from G4S and from Pacific Island Security, and the lowest bid goes to Pacific Island Security at 571392. For 30 wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And um, what is this again? Government. This is for the festival, yeah. I know, I mean, how come? Because we we're present, because so PBS is presenting, so we were able to fundraise to pay for all of the costs. How did you fundraise together with Gita and uh, GVB, oh. and we were able to raise twenty-five thousand oh. dollars. So basically, we're gonna pay for okay. pay all for right. the okay. services. Yeah. So, so the, the, we 
we actually pay for the security so that they don't we're, steal the lights. Yes, because we're spot, we're the presenter of the festival. So we have to. We raised the money for the festival. Now we're paying for the vendors. Yes, but yeah. what do you pay for the, um, we need the lights? We need security. There's a sound system on stage with lighting and I mean, you're sound. You're talking about guards. That are, we're security paying guards that are running around overnight. watching okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's, secure, there's, a, uh, there's a sound system on the stage. Um, there's lights throughout the two parks. Uh, there's the Belen. There's... Um, you know, also, we don't want kids hanging on the ropes at night, you know, like... So every night, it's a good to people every night stay there? Every security. Mm -hmm. Overnight, from 9.30 to 5.30, or oh, 6.30. Yeah. Okay. okay I, I can make a motion to approve FY 2023 RQ 315 Pay Pacific Island Security $5,713.92. I'll second that. Okay. Before we vote, I would just like to note that um, at a, a meeting I had yesterday with uh, my homeowners association, we discussed uh, the fact that, this, that our resident manager had to wake up the guard twice uh, just after his shift started, not, not even like late into the shift, and this is an overnight shift. So, um, I don't know if there's any way that we could, you know, uh, ensure that this guy is actually out there, you know, protecting our assets. But I would just like to note that, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a real thing, and if there's any way that we can uh, impress on Pacific Island security that we really want them out there taking care of our stuff. Um, walking the grounds. Walking around, you know. Yeah, the, the only way is that some employee here makes a random hit. Yes. Some, some night at 9 o'clock. That would be the only way, you know, so. Well, I I guess mean, we'll just let have them to know, the we're best. watching, we're watching, we're watching, <laughs> you watching. So let, let us assume that somebody steals something or something goes wrong. Does yeah, the Pacific Island right. security will reimburse us? I'm not sure if they will reimburse, but the protocols that we call them and they're responsible because they're yeah, guarding they're it. So, yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. So we we touched on that issue. Point. We'd we'd like to make sure that we get value for our dollars. Yeah. It's not cheap. Okay. Uh, we have uh, a motion and a second for RQ three fifteen. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. <coughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So our next item is FY 2023-RQ316, and this is also related to the uh, Festival of Lights. It's the porta potties that we needed to rent for the month. Um, SOS and Best Plumbers, they issued no quotes because they're busy with um, contract work, uh, construction, and Total Malik was the only one that issued a quote at 2690 for for the duration of the month. And that, uh, con that uh, consists of a regular toilet, an ADA toilet, and hand washing station. And that's at 2690. And do they um, refresh? They do every, every 48 hours. We're asking them to come and. and um, so there is 30 days, but they're doing to do it 15 days? Or, or they're doing it? They were doing it from the 5th to the, to the 7th. And every uh, every other day, they came. They're coming to um, clean and pump if they have to. Uh, and for 15, oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, but but how many devices? Just one? Oh. No, they just said they were going to clean 15 times. That but how many toilets are actually? Oh, there? there's an ADA, a regular toilet, and a hand washing station. So it's just just a regular toilet. One portable, a regular toilet, an ADA, ADA toilet, toilet, and a hand washing hand station. Hand washing station, and then cleaning service. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So that's twenty six ninety total. Yes, yes, total for the festival. All right. I I move to approve FY twenty twenty three dash RQ three sixteen uh, for total Malik in the amount of. $2,690, and I also would like to make a change in the date from December 3rd to January 7th, 
Where, where is that? Where is the date in there? Right in the uh, written oh, uh, sorry. justification. I think they dropped it on the third. That's why. But mm. it was uh, we, they unlocked it on the fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's why that's there. So with that said. Uh, I, I second. On favor, say aye. 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 Okay, and the last of the Christmas festival uh, procurement is for sound and lighting, and this is uh, it consists of the sound booth, uh, the sound booth, as well as which uh, one is it? RQ1? This is oh sorry, this is FY twenty twenty three dash RQ three thirteen, um, and so this consists of the sound booth. It consists of a canopy to cover the outdoor museum stage, right? That's the the outdoor stage, um, lighting for the stage, sound for the festival. He's also doing DJ services. So like um, throughout uh, from 6 to six to 9 p.m. they're playing Christmas music. Um, he's providing microphones and MC, uh, for the MCs and for the entertainers, spotlighting and the, oh, the DJ services. So we did get three quotes, one from Sounds Unlimited, Empire Media Entertainment, and um, one from Nadine Cruz, which is a DJ. <laughs> Uh, who also could provide the services. Um, and the lowest bid, um, you can see they were coming in at about 20,000. The lowest bid was 13.5 from Sounds Unlimited. Um, and so that's who we're using. So that's also for the duration of the festival? Yes, that was from, um, that was from December, December 5th. Five to January, January 7th. 7th. Wow. Yeah. How can such a big difference from sound for festival? One is charging 14,000 and the other is A550. That's, that's. I guess he's just doing a flat rate. Big difference. The one that won it sounds unlimited. Yeah. It's just doing a flat. It's not itemized. Yeah. And he's very good. Henry yeah. Sherrard, yeah. yeah. I agree. He's very. Um, Dependable. He's yeah. He's a uh, he. He does lots of sound. He actually was the one who did our staging for the liberation parade. Yeah, I was surprised too, looking at the quotes when they started to come in at over twenty thousand. Yeah. Um, I think Henry was the first one to submit a quote, and then the other two came in after, but it was quite high. Yeah. But also, it is a lot of work. They have to set up every single night at six o'clock. They don't leave until ten o'clock. Um, rain or shine. When the entertainers come on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they got to do lights, work out the sound. Um, they're doing the movies in the park audio for us. It's it is a lot of work. It's like a carnival kind of sound gig. <laughs> they're there at the park every day. Well, I move to approve FY twenty twenty three dash RQ three thirteen, uh, awarding sounds unlimited for the amount of $13,500. I second. For the sound and lighting for the 22 Holiday Life Festival. All in favor say aye. 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 You both. Thank you. Okay, so our final item, or uh, our next item is a compressor unit for the, mm. compressor unit for the Barrigata. transmitter site in Barrigada. We were able to get the part. Is that RQ3? Oh, sorry, FY2023 RQ3 or 310. Uh, so we were able to get the parts. Um, it was a uh, Kabuha Tech Services. They have the replacement of the two um, wall mount um, air conditioning compressors. And the, that is for um, the equipment and the installation. Um, we did check two other places. There were no quotes. They don't carry and they don't even supply it here. Um, so Kabuhat is the one that we're going to go with at 9200 which is a lot lower than the 30000 per unit I was expecting to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this okay. will bring us back up to compliance with FCC. Okay, so I move that we approve uh, the expenditure of 9,200 awarded to Kabuhat Enterprise to replace the compressor on the Barragada Heights for the for the two other Barragada Heights house or 
for the, the two other transmitter ACs. site. Yeah. Transmitter site for the two other ACs. Okay. Thank you. Say the number. Oh, the the fiscal FY. year twenty three does RQ three ten. Okay. Motion. I second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 And the last one is our frame synchronizer from the MCO department. This is um this is another piece of equipment that's kind of is necessary for MCO. We did get three. Oh, it's FY 2023-RQ1. Uh, we did get three quotes: one from Adorama, one from Studio Care and B&H. Um, so this is equipment. Uh, you know, this equipment that we have is pretty old. It's already been discontinued, so it was difficult for us to find it. The frame synchronizer is equipment that's going to sync the sync the um, the the video um, the video image. Um, so that it's not uh, rotating, you know, like on OTVs, sometimes when you dial in on a thing, your channel just keeps rotating. This, the synchronizer is gonna uh, synchronize it so that it stays still and that's what it is. Um, so, uh, stabilizer, right? Um, so we do need to, we need one. John Munya wants to buy two since the part is discontinued. Um, so the lowest bid went to uh, Adorama at $7,073.75. Um, but one is absolutely necessary. He just wants to have one as a backup because the equipment is discontinued. We just found out this as we were getting quotes. Okay. okay. I move wait, wait, wait. I just have one question. And it's on the shipping. So Adorama is 275.75 cents. Yes, and the other one is 120 for the same items. Why, why is that it's so? Different places. It's a different company coming from different states, and it could be one is using UPS and one is using USPS, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. it, plus, they might have handling fees. So, I'm um, not sure. Okay. But it is different states, so it could be that too. I move that we approve FY2023 RQ1 for. Uh, $7,073.75 to adorama.com. Okay, I move. I, I, I second. One favor say aye. 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 Okay, so, but I want, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Motion carries, thank you. Okay, but I just want to make a point for next time. So when, when you have uh, the buyers, like Jesse Frank Salas Jr. doing the, the request, when they see such a big difference in shipping, maybe kind of ask them to specify who are they using. Because if, he, if UPS is cheaper than FedEx, or FedEx cheaper than the other, or or I think yes, we assume that the people who figured this out figured that out. Yeah, but a lot of time it's by web, right? And it's it's company preference what yeah. they want to use. I mean, I deal with it a lot with my vendors. Sometimes shipping is like a difference of three hundred dollars, and it just depends. Like some people don't like to use USPS because right now they don't seem very reliable, mm -hmm. and are only using US UPS. Or some vendors actually require us to use DHL, which then is like quadruple the cost. Yeah. Well, you know. I find out that the U.S. Postal, postal Service is the best. Yeah, I like we, it too. In Guam, I like it too, but there's a lot of vendors. It doesn't in the really that don't matter. Use it. In Guam, we are so far away. They, they, they all have to use air airlines, so it doesn't. It, it is not coming overnight, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, when when my suppliers ask me who do we use. I, if, if they're going to pay themselves, use whoever you want. But if you're going to charge me the, the freight, then I tell them use U.S. Postal Self. I think that's a good point, and uh, I think we should be in the position to uh, suggest. suggest suggest to question. vendors, please ship you, you, yes, you yeah. please ship least expensive way. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. some people honestly well, still they still Guam. don't know that Guam is part of the U.S. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, right. don't, they don't know that the post office comes here. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. still, that's still a fact of life. It's, so yeah. if we can save a few bucks by just saying, by, by just asking a question, why not? Yeah. Okay. I have a question about the very first bid. Uh, it's dated, this one is 2022, mm -hmm. which ended September 30th. Because we initiated before, so we got the requisition before the end of the fiscal year, but then- We uh, checked the, the price is still good. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. It's still good. No, I just, that caught my eye. That's when we, so the, the form number was because it, we, we, we signed the form out uh, before September 30th. Yeah, that's just December 8th. Yeah. And we were going to, we were going to put it in the next board meeting, but then there was something missing, and then the next meeting was postponed, so. Oh. Okay. What, the, what I had them do is refresh the quotes and make sure the quotes were okay. within 30 days. Yeah. Well, I guess Jesse was working on Our Lady of Cameron Day. Yes, he was. He was MCO. Yeah. What? He was he MCO. He was MCO that day. Oh. Yeah, master control operator. I think the last item was the holiday staff luncheon approval. Um, I kind of skipped over. I told uh, let's just jump back to uh, number two under new business. Okay. And uh, just claim around commission on surf, on self-determination programming. Uh, I had a comment from someone who, who had viewed some of the uh, commission's uh, infomercials, and their comment was, "Is that my position, or is that the station's mm -hmm. position?" And I said, "No, that's you know commission on self-determinations informational campaign, and it's uh, we're not the only outlet." Yeah. But my question oh. for Good you point. now is, do we uh, need to have you know one of those disclaimers that says this is not views of the PBS? Oh, right. yeah. all the time. Yeah. I I think for that one, I I don't think it is necessary because the agreement that we have with the Commission on Decolonization, it's an edu it's a full educational campaign. So if you look at the programming, there's it's a series of programming yeah, that right. talks about our different um, options for uh, uh, what is it the plebiscite? I mean, it's the yeah. uh, self the self determination it's options, self right? Where you can be, yeah. yeah. So we did a, we did a segment on each of them and basically it's just educating it's not persuading you to do anything it's just educating you on what each of the um, topics the, the what do you call it each of the um, no I mean positions are that's, right that's yeah. the point someone was probably trying maybe to we should put him on the spot yeah yeah I mean, it's just their educational campaign. It wasn't like we had a talk show and talking about like yeah. something like that. But I, I see your point, and we could probably add it. It's just an easy That's slate true. on the yeah. end or in the beginning. In the beginning. It's not. Can somebody question you or ask you? They just ask, you know, because they because there's the nothing program? in the program that says this is not uh, the PBS. view of PBS. They just wanted to ask a question, is that the view of PBS? And I said, no, yeah. that's Please the view add. of the, the producer. Disclaimer. But because one person asked that question, maybe other people yeah. are having that question, and I would just like to head it off, you no, know, I, at the pass yeah. before someone else Okay, okay. So, so, so you it. want to put a disclaimer? We can add it. Yeah. We can add it for any, yeah. Which for means any. What, what, what would the disclaimer say? Would you say the views of this programming are not necessarily that of PBS? Management. Guam? Yeah, real simple. Management and staff? With KUM, I mean, yeah, KUD7 has it every five minutes. <laughs> yeah, we can do that for any... any Beginning and the end. Well, but that's, you have a that's so that they don't complain or they don't sue us or something, but yeah. the main thing is educating the people, right? Yeah. That's the point. I know, I got it. It is a community system. service in giving information to educate the public as to what the decolonization pro uh, program is and how it's going to assist people in being informed, really. Yeah. It's not telling you you have to support it or not. It's, and we're definitely not doing that, but we are a public broadcast station providing a service for the public and that we're not bound to what it is, the programs that we're presenting to the public that we're saying that we're in favor of it or that we're going to promote it. In well, but but, yeah. but we never say that. No, we shouldn't so, have to. We didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we want to protect our impartiality. Understood. Yeah. Okay. But we that's good news be because somebody's watching us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they are. Yeah. yeah, we have people watching us that has only PBS. Yeah, and we have a lot of those. We're kind of uh, upset, but really, we got it. Yeah, because we were off the air. Because They're like upset. Every week they'll call. So what's is it done? What? Are we still get the the air? No, the aircon's off. The aircon is working up? now. All right, it's working now. But so we were gonna. These two compressor we fixing is fixing the two others. Right. So we have a standby. Right. So he, uh, John, wants to rotate it. I guess yes. you know. But are we back on the air? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. But the moment we go down, our phones are ringing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so people miss 
the news? Oh, and oh they, they get upset. I guess that's the only channel they have. Oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. it's hard. Okay, well, you that's good. Really that's good antenna. news. Yeah. We're the only station that really provides that. Yes. That, that people can turn on their TVs and it turn feels to good. Channel 13. Yes. It feels good to hear, you yeah. know. Channel 12, rather. But mm. the complaints was like, ooh. I like, go I like go. that. That's a good thing to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Old school. <clears throat> we miss number three. Okay, well, this is three. a very productive when meeting. That yeah, holiday luncheon been. approval. Oh, that holiday luncheon and approval of year end bonus. So we did this last year. Oh, so we're having our holiday luncheon next week, Wednesday, and we're all invited. <clears throat> it's at 12 o'clock. What, what, what day is that? Wednesday. What day is next, it? The uh, 22nd. OK. I'm going to be so busy. I, I would love to uh, attend. Everybody's that. busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have my class, but I can come later. Yeah, what time is the lunch? luncheon? 12, 12 o'clock. Oh, oh, my gosh. I don't I think I can make it. I hope class. you don't mind. We <laughs> also wanted to, you know, because of our financial position right now, we also wanted to do um, year-end bonuses for the staff like we did last year. Um, last year we did that. With the staff was pretty surprised, and they were all very happy and grateful. Uh, so I wanted to present to the board a um, matrix I did um, um, for proposed um, staff bonus. Um, I don't know if this needs to be an executive session or not. No. No, because you have it written. Okay. It's just for you to so We don't need to it. say anything. So it's based off percentages. Um, you'll see management is the per a, a certain percentage. Um, staff has a certain percentage. And then we have employees that have been here less than a year. That is a is just a, a set rate. What are those percentages? <clears throat> it's uh, three point five for management, two point five for staff, and and the number for the year yeah. for employees less than a year. Right, see that? Yeah. Bottom line, can we afford it? Do we have okay. enough money? We can afford it. Okay. So you'll see that um, you'll see that on the FY 2021, this is the number that we gave out last yeah. year. Yes, yes, I can. And see. then you'll so much higher. Because we did a flat rate across the board. Because we um, had so much yeah. good time. And so <laughs> this year, I've just decreased the number a just little bit um, because we have way more staff. Um, and I was able to save quite a bit. So 25 this Is that year? normal, though, in government agencies to give bonuses? We can as it's, PBS because yeah. of our private status. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I, I, will, I will note that last year I did tell everyone who was assembled receiving checks that just because you're getting it this now year, doesn't yeah. mean you're going to get it next year. Next year. Yeah. I did say that. Yeah. You did. Just want to point that out. Yeah. On the other hand, this is... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Can I ask a question? Does, good, right? does all the government of one agencies like, like this one gives bonuses That's to people? So no. because of our status, we are able to do that. No, no, but do every... Do all of them do? Not good one. I'm sorry. No. Anyway, we do have the money. The station is doing very good. Uh, the, the we, we should keep the staff happy. They deserve it. Why not? Yeah. So my vote is yes, I agree. They worked really hard this year. We all have. What are, what especially other the agency, management. <laughs> what other agency, government agency, would fall you know, in the category that allows us to do this? Is Gita. Gita. Gita, okay. Um, GBB, maybe. Yeah. Airport. Mm -hmm. So they have that, they have that independence yes. to be able to do that. Just wondering. Okay, so the total amount that we're looking at is $25,335.47. Is that that's everybody at the station? Yes. yes. Nobody's left I out. I decided this one. Is there anybody, uh, anybody on the naughty list that we should take off the list? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Scratch that name out. Okay, the, but that's okay. I mean, you don't, we don't have to, do we have to vote on that or no? Mm -mm. The amount, I guess, yeah. the amount. We do. We do? Yes. And the amount. Okay, so I, I move that we, that the board approves yeah, because a bonus here, for yeah. the employees as presented by the director uh, for the year 2022 in the amount of 25,335 and 47. Okay. Oh, I'll second that. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries.
Okay. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yay. Thank you. So the People last thing is... Oh, if you uh, would like to come to the... I will announcement, the, discussions. And, yeah, what? you guys can present it. Oh, if you oh want to when, when is that going to be the... Thursday, the then Wednesday, Wednesday yeah, next yeah, week? I think I can come. My English. Which day is that? We'll get at least some Next week, Wednesday. Okay. What is yeah. 12 o'clock if you can make it. Did you, did you pick I a day? I think I can make it. I kind of have to okay. go pretty soon. We're done, I think. Next meeting? Yeah. I don't have a calendar. January. Um, we have either the 19 and the 26. 19? 19. 19. So which day is it? It's the Thursday, Thursday, right? Yeah. The 26th is just a backup. Yeah, so basically the 19th. So the, the 19th? Okay. Good to have a backup. Yep. Okay, got it. 2023 already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe it's December. So, yeah, it's my fault that I didn't Okay, so. Okay, we're good. Mm. January 19th, next meeting. No announcements. Anybody have an announcement? Maybe we no. This is cute. I'll give it to my children. To my mm -hmm. No announcement. Adjourn. No Merry Christmas. Yes. Happy New Year. Yes. That's an announcement. Yes. So I have uh, four. Yes. That's the meeting but of the year. Adjourn. Okay, motion to adjourn, please. Okay, I move that uh, we adjourn. Uh, is there anything else I should no. say? What time? I second. 2.38. Oh, uh, 2.38. Okay. Time. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nope. Thank aye. you. Oh, that was this person keeps coming. I don't know.